If you go to, and let me just navigate to it myself right now. If you go to education.ti.com, that link is on Blackboard. Education.ti.com. In the product support, so it's right here in the middle, there's this thing called tutorials. Tutorials. It's a lot of things you can learn how to, how to do. Your 84 is on there as well. If you come over down here to what's called atomic learning tutorials, you can click on the other one, the, the red type also. But atomic learning uh, tutorials will take you to a website where you can listen to someone and they will walk you through exactly what you uh, need to do. Don't worry about logging in. You can, um, you can work with the touch pad, the black one, or the click pad, the gray one, whichever one you want. And once you get into that um, tutorial, we're going to do this right now, get into uh, that tutorial, you've got uh, you know, the basics, and you have a whole uh, way of doing things there. Um, let's see if it's on there on the scratch pad. Uh, but anyways, graphs and geometry, uh, lists and spreadsheets. This is where you learn how to manually enter data into the spreadsheet and how to create a regression equation. Okay, so there's that. I actually recommend that you use data and statistics to do that, but I'm not going to interrupt you know, what we know about this to, uh, to show to have you try and go to, to two of those. So if you go to that listen spreadsheet, you can. Okay, so those of you who have questions, you can use that as a resource. Okay, um, let's go back into our, um, our notes here. Okay. Oh, um, Yeah, I, I'm trying. I'm debating on whether or not to go into that um, regression. Anyone need to see regression today? Okay, I'm kind of stalling because the next um, lesson, the ones I recorded, start after what I, we just finished, and so I'm thinking this might be a good time to kind of, kind of do this sort of thing. Okay, so let's um, let's go to how to do a regression. Um, what I'd like to have you do. We're going to go into our um, inspires here, and um, I'm going to ask you. Yes. Are you recording? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you to go into. Uh, I'm going to do a control document here and go down to list and spreadsheets. On the gray one, press home and go to list and spreadsheet. I've been working with this model so much, let's go back to the gray one for those of you who, who have this. We've done one of these. We did some of this uh, in class before. Um, but let's say that uh, we're, we have a problem from homework and we want to put some information in. Um, I'm just going to uh, imp I'm just going to type in a, um, a name for that column. So that very top column is where you put the name. You don't have to put a name up there, but if you're going to do a regression, it has to be named in some fashion. So if nothing else, um, I just put in put input and press enter and go to column B and I just type output. Okay. I'm going to type just some information in here. Um, it, it's just going to be five data uh, data points, and I don't. I'm going to try not to make it anything special. So um, I'm going to put in, uh, let's say, a two, uh, a five, an eleven, uh, a twelve, and a uh, twenty-one. Okay, just anything at all. And I'm going to try and, and kind of mix this data up a little bit here and, and maybe do uh, something that doesn't turn out to be exactly uh, linear, but we'll see what happens here. I'm going to start with um, 
oh, I'm going to say 1, um, 4, 8, 16, 27, something like that. Okay, so there's just some data. For whatever reason, we've got data. Now, <clears throat> one way that it shows you in the tutorial is rather a long way, and because it shows you in the tutorial, I'm going to show you the easy way, since I'm doing this in front of you. Okay. I've got my data here. What I'm going to do is to, uh, on this model, go home, and I'm going to pick up this icon down here at the bottom that is um, it's called whoops, Data and Statistics. Okay, So it's the next to the last one over there, Data and Statistics. And it looks like that. It's just got a bunch of dots on the screen. And if I move the cursor to one of them, I will see the input and the output. That's not what I really, really want to do. Down here at the, um, at the bottom, do you see this thing that says click to add a variable? If you, um, if you, let's see how we would do this. If I come down here and I click, Let me back up because I'm working in the, in the gray one here. Uh, when it came up, initially it was down here. And if I click on this, what I'm wanting to do is to bring up this down here, this area down here. Now, those of you on the gray one, were you able to get that one to pop up? It doesn't make any difference because we can always go to the other one later on. But what I want to do is to put input down there. And then I have what's called a, uh, a dot graph. Everything is linear. I have, it's a frequency chart is really what it is. Um, I, I cheated because I used my computer here. Okay. Now, let me see what you have and then I'll show you. Okay. You've got the cursor. If you do click, yeah, just move the cursor, um, you know, down, 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 over, 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 and, um, oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, on this one, you just click down to the, whoa, 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 just move it down to where it says to the bottom. And then, the, well, on the horizontal, which variable do we put on the horizontal axis? And it's the input. Okay. Now, uh, for those of you on the click pad, you know, move the cursor, click up, and click over to the left side. Those of you on the black one, you can just move the cursor over there. And it says, you know, click or enter to add a variable. And we want them to do the output. So this is how we can get a scatter plot. Very fast, very easy. It's not difficult, and I'll, I'll walk you through the other way, but it is a little more difficult to get to do it the other way. And press enter, and then there's my, my data. Now, because some of you are, this is new to some of you, I want to go to this and take a look and see how well we're doing. Okay. Okay, I've got someone who's disconnected. Are there computer, the calculator is turned off, the inspire is turned off. Okay. Um, this person right here, let's take a look at this because this is going to happen to you occasionally. Where did you go? Um, well, maybe you've clicked off of it already. Okay. You did. Okay. Um, now, some of you have already found out how to do the regression. Good. It's really not, it's really pretty easy to take care of this. Always go to menu, right? Go to menu. And if you go down to analyze, go down to analyze and open that up, do you see this thing called regression? There it is. 
And you first need to know what kind of a regression model do I want to use. Maybe you want to use linear. So we would go down to a linear model, and there it is. Okay. You know, the the um, what is the other choice? Uh, it's that's more of the statistical one. We all, in math we always use mx plus b. So, okay. Now here's one thing you can do if you come over here and pick up one of these points and move it. Notice that the graph and the equation move also. So if you find out that you have the wrong point there, you can move that. Does that affect the spreadsheet? Well, let's go back and take a look. Sure enough, I didn't put in 10.64 and 18.72, it did affect the spreadsheet values also. So you can, um, you can adjust that. And uh, there's the equation that we have. Now, let's say, though, that you want to go back to the calculator page and you want to use this equation now in something else. So I'm going to go back to my calculation page. If you do menu and actions, you see this thing called recall definition. Okay. Now, this is if you want to do this and you have a regression equation and you'd like to keep it and use it in something else, you know, to compute some other things, you go to a calculation page, go to actions, go to recall definition, and what you want to recall is the stat regression equation. That's that first item that comes up there, and there it is. Now, this looks a whole lot different than what we had on the graph page, because on the graph page, we just had uh, 38709, and here is 38709213502. So you get a, you know, a lot more of those digits on there. And press Enter, and there's that. Now, you can, re you can rename that. So I'm going to go up here and grab that, and I'm just going to bring my cursor all the way back, and instead of calling it stat regression equation, I could call it F1. Okay, so we can, we can manipulate these things. That makes it nice. Okay, that's the easy way to do it. Should we walk through that again? Yes, no? You can go back and look at the video, can't you? <laughs> okay. okay, if you go to Menu and go to Actions and go to Recall Definition. Oh, the other? Okay, um, use the up arrow. Let me bring this down here. Use the up arrow, and that goes up and selects it, and then press Enter. And it brings it down. Okay? Um, the other way of doing this, the other way of doing this, now I'm back in my spreadsheet page. This is what the tutorial will show you because it's, you're doing within the list of spreadsheets. Go to menu, go down to statistics, come over to start calculate our stat calculations and we choose then linear regression. So we go in listen spread and spreadsheets, go into menu, go into um, statistics, and then the stat calculations and go down to linear regression. That brings up then a page that looks like this. This says where is your input information? It's and when you see C with the brackets, it means column C. So while you take a look at that, I'm 